Hello everyone, I'm Jessica and I'm back on YouTube. Yay, after six, seven years, uh, years, oh my God, after <laughs> six, seven months away from YouTube. So if you don't know me, I have my YouTube channel since May or June last year, year of 2015, I mean, and um, I've been on a break from YouTube since uh, February, like six, around six, seven months. And uh, I've decided to come back. I really missed YouTube. I really missed editing. I really missed filming. And this is just a small channel that I have, but I really enjoy doing this. So I decided to come back. I'm ready to film every week. I'm ready to edit, edit videos. I'm ready for everything. Let's do this. So today's video, I'm going to talk about my tattoos and my piercings. I don't have a lot. I have three tattoos and three piercings at the moment. I used to have a lot of piercings, so why not starting now, yeah? So I used to have loads of piercings. I used to forget to put them, so basically now I just have the ones that I really like to see it. So let's tell the story about my piercings. Uh, I didn't have like a huge story, but just wanna talk a bit. Um, so the first one I'm gonna talk is my nose piercing, just a really small thing. Sorry about my eyebrows, I need to do my eyebrows. My nose piercing. So my nose piercing was made here in England, my first year in here in around October, November of 2013. And uh, I, when I was younger, I never had the feeling, I never felt doing a nose piercing. I thought it would be look horrible in me, but I don't know, suddenly I woke up and I was like, mm, let's do a nose piercing. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't know what's going on in my throat. And uh, I decided, okay, let's do this. Let's do a nose piercing. And then I went to Camden. Yeah, I made this one in Camden. I went to Camden and decided to do it. And I did it with a friend. I was so afraid it would hurt so much, but it didn't. It didn't hurt at all at all it was so easy then uh, i've got this one this one i was afraid of doing it because i i i used to have one in this side of the year but um it infected it got infected so i was afraid of getting it uh, but the story of it i was in birmingham visiting a, film, a friend and uh, i went by I don't really remember the name of the store or something like that. I went by a piercing store and I looked in inside and at that moment I only had my nose piercing and one of in each of my lobes, I think, maybe the three of them here and two there, there and that was it. And I was like, I need a piercing, I need it. So I got in, I asked how much was it and it was actually cheap. And I was like, okay, I want to do it in here. I want to do my piercing in here. Let's do it. But I was so afraid, so afraid because the other year I, it, it got infected in here, and I got one. I used to have one in here which got infected as well. So I was so afraid, so afraid. But it didn't. I took care of it, really care of it, and uh, it never got infected. And I'm happy. It has like a year now, and it's good. It's good. That's the story of my cartilage. Cartilage piercing? I don't really know the names, to be honest, sorry. Um, the third one, the third one, oh, the third one is this one, it's called Tragos, tra Tragos, uh, I can't say it, sorry, I can't say it. Um, uh, this one was made like a week ago <laughs> in Portugal. I, I wanted to do one for years, but never had the courage. I thought it would be horrible, thought it would hurt a lot, so I never done it. But my sister uh, had that thing to get a belly button piercing. And uh, so I thought about getting a belly button piercing. That was my first idea. And uh, but then she had the amazing idea of going on YouTube and watch videos how people do it, like how it's actually done. And um, when I saw it, I was like, 
no way i'm not going to do it i'm not going to do it it's gonna be horrible so it came up the idea of this one and no i didn't watch videos of youtube on youtube to see how it was made no way then we went to the store and she got the belly button piercing which i saw which i saw him uh, I saw the guy doing it and I was like, no way! Uh, she was holding my hand and she was like, <gasps> as soon as he put. Oh, I can't even think about it. I can't even think about it. And then it was my turn and I realized it was made the same way, basically the same way. And it hurt so much. And after this one, which was made a week ago, it's taking ages to heal. It's taking ages to heal. I have no idea why. And I'm so afraid it gets infected, infected. If it gets, I'm gonna take it as soon as I see it. It's getting, and it hurts, it hurts. So now let's talk about my tattoos. I have three tattoos, only three. Now let's talk about the first one, which you can see, it's this one. It was the first one I made. This tattoo is a heart, like half filled, half not filled. Don't know why, it just had the idea. So this tattoo has a funny story, to be honest. It has a really funny story. So I, had, I lived with some friends, it was here in England. I don't remember the year, maybe 2014? It was two years ago. Oh yeah, it was two years ago. Oh my Jesus, you have two years now. My friend bought on Amazon a machine to make tattoos. And we lived all together and she decided to tattoo everyone. I always wanted this tattoo, by the way. Uh, this tattoo has a meaning. Let me just talk about this first. This tattoo has a meaning. I don't really like to talk about it because it's something um, with a lot of meaning for me and I'm, not everyone knows the, the full story about it. But basically it means my sister and also my sister wants to, to do us the same one in the, in the same wrist and looking the same. Uh, it means my sister and uh, a time that she helped me a lot. I was really down moment and my sister helped me to get up. And that's why a heart, um, the place has a meaning. So she bought a machine and we were all doing tattoos. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna do a heart that I always wanted, my sister. And um, so she made it. She made just the shape of it, the heart, not the inside thing. And she made a heart shape and uh, it looked good to be honest. For the she was the first time she was doing tattoos. She didn't even know how what was she doing. Uh, but she did it and looked good. So I decided to go to a tattooist, a, like to a proper shop. And he made the rest of it. He actually filled like the, the shape on it and he filled the inside thing and uh, I'm really happy with this tattoo. Let's go to my t second tattoo. So you guys are wondering, where's my second tattoo? You can see anything, it's not like this one you can see. Yeah, you can't. It's behind my ear and I'm gonna try to show you guys. It's just hard because I don't, I can't see the camera because I will turn around and I can't really see the camera. So let's take all my hair and try to show you guys. Sit down properly and here we go my tattoo a star behind my ear so this tattoo also has a meaning of it all my tattoos has a have a meaning this tattoo so my grandmother my mom my, my mother's mom uh, my mother's mom died when my mother was eight I never met her but her name was Strela which means star in Portuguese and uh, Everyone tells me stories, like my family members tell me stories of her, which are amazing. She was... I can't even describe, she was amazing. She was uh, sweet with their children, with her children, I mean. She was lovely, she was funny, she was beautiful, she was beautiful. And uh, I don't know, I wish... I met her, uh, so I never met her, but her name is just amazing, basically star in Portuguese, and in Portuguese sounds so good, Estrela, 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 and I always wanted that name, Estrela, I'm sorry my mom never had the amazing idea of calling me her name, mother's name, uh, I'm really sorry she didn't have that amazing idea, uh, but yeah, 
and it's a star so it's behind my ear because it has another meaning just the star is because of my mother's mom my mother's mom yeah I was just thinking if I was <laughs> saying it well and uh, another mean meaning is um, I lost a lot of people in my family already like around four or five people and people like close family this tattoo is for all of them this tattoo is basically um, their like they are stars there in the sky looking for me. That's why behind my ear because they are always like protecting me and always looking out for me. And that's why behind my ear, I don't know, whispering in my ear, like telling me, this sounds awkward and stupid, but this tattoo is for all the people that I miss. I decided to do a tattoo that means all of them, means that they are always with me and doesn't matter where they are they will always be with me and that's the meaning of my star the last one it's on my feet and i'm sorry my nails are horrible i just realized it but my nails are horrible you don't have to see but this is my tattoo my third tattoo which was made at the same time as this one which was last month two months ago something like that so this one I'm trying to do some gymnastic. It's an airplane with some numbers. The numbers on my tattoo in here, this is an airplane with some dots and then 23, 7, 13 and some dots again. Wait, what does that mean? So easy. This tattoo, even my tattooist, when he was making it, he was like, that's the date that he moved in in England, isn't it? I was like, yes. It is. So yeah, airplane because airplane because I, I came from Portugal and come here and oh my feet. And um, so airplane makes kind of sense. The numbers, people sometimes look at it and they say, oh, that probably is the number of the flight you came in first. I was like, no. It's the date, the 23rd of June, June, no, July, what? 23rd of July, 2013. And I just love the place. The place, why? Because when you go to a new school or you go for a new job or something, people say start with the right fit, right foot I mean, start with the right foot, which means like good luck, like to give you luck. And when I left the airplane here, my first foot on the ground, on, Engl on English, on England's ground was my right one. So I was like, yay, I'm here, good luck, Jessica. <laughs> So that's why it's the right food and that's why an airplane, that's why the date or the numbers, whatever you want to call it. And that's my tattoo, my third tattoo. More tattoos? Yes, I have already planned, but not soon because I have already three, so I don't want to get that dated. That I will get every month a new one. No, maybe next year I will do one more, but that's it for now. Piercings, I don't think so. I don't think so. This one has been crazy for me, so I don't think I will get another one. <laughs> That's it. Just belly button, maybe. Uh, no, I don't know. I don't know. So that's my tattoos and my piercing story. I hope you guys enjoy my video. If you enjoyed this video, give me amazing thumbs up, like huge thumbs up. Um, if you want to watch my old videos, which was like, which were like six months ago, you can go. Go ahead. Watch my past, watch my past, and uh, comment below if you have any ideas for the videos because I'm gonna, I kinda have some videos planned, but I, ideas are always welcome. It's me, I'm back, and I hope you guys enjoy, and I hope I will see you next week because I will. I'm so excited to be back and to be, do videos again, and to make videos again. Hope you guys enjoy, and I'll bye, I will see you next week.